Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a new story for you. It's a heartbreaking, scary, horrific story from China. But before I tell you the story, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe it. If you like the videos which I upload, please do share it with your friends and family so that they can also subscribe the channel and listen to these stories. And please press that bell icon. Whenever I upload a video, you will get a notification and you will be able to hear these stories then and then. So now today's story is from China. There is a place called Xi'an. But before I tell you the entire story, let me discuss three things which is related to the story, three trends which is going on in the world today and it is related to this story. First thing is that these days uh, people are not planning for kids, people are not getting married and since they are not getting married, they are not planning for kids. So many countries like Japan, Italy and many other countries are facing a crisis. There is a low birth rate and the population rate is also decreasing. And in many countries, the government is requesting people to get married, to plan for kids, for the population rate. And this is what is not happening because these days, most of the people uh, like, you know, male, female, everybody is focused on their career. They don't want to start with a new responsibility, especially in case of women. Uh, from the developing countries, they don't have that many facilities to take care of their newborn child. So they quit job. So nowadays, uh, people are more focused towards the career. They don't want to plan children because of these things. And they prefer staying alone. So this is one thing. Second thing is that these days, we do not socialize the way we used to in the early times. Like uh, nowadays people don't like to socialize that much, they don't like to entertain guests and most of the socializing is done online on the internet, rest in the real world we have less friends, less relatives, we meet with people less and leaving few people who are still socializing with each other, most of the population has turned out to be the ones who are not interested in socializing and in many places in the cities you will see a trend where the neighbors do not know about their own neighbors after staying uh, together for many years so this is growing day by day and the third thing is that these days because of uh, 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 staying alone having less friends less relatives or not planning a family, people are now because of isolation or staying alone uh, are developing more mental illness and depression. Nowadays people have more these kind of mental illness, depression, they are suffering from it and there is nobody to share, there is no family, no friends. So these are few of the trends and how the story is related to it you will slowly come to know now in china there is a city called as xian it's a town and in which there are many old buildings many old apartment buildings are 19 story high some are 15 story high so one of this old apartment building was 15 stories high it was not maintained properly so it was quite old it had small small apartments so in this building on the 15th floor there was this lady living in one of the corner apartment and her name was miss wu this was her family name people knew about her but people were not very uh, friendly with her and the reason behind this was that Miss Wu was very introvert, she was single, she was not married, she had no kids. Her family members and relatives were not there, nobody used to come and meet her. She was staying in the same building, same apartment from many years. And she was uh, introvert and she used to socialize very little. 
so people knew that this lady is staying in one of the apartments but nobody was that close to miss wu now there was another reason why people were not very close with miss wu because they believe that she has some sort of mental illness the reason behind this belief was that whenever somebody used to pass by her apartment they used to hear noise as if miss wu is uh, talking to herself screaming shouting laughing at the middle of the night sometimes she is shifting her furniture in the middle of the night so all this behavior indicated that she has some sort of mental illness now with the mental illness people get scared and the reason behind it is that people say that this particular person is not in the right condition so they don't have the right mental condition so they can harm others so because of this notion people generally stay away from the people who are having mental illness now one or two incident in case of miss wu had happened like one time few children were playing near her apartment so she came out of her apartment screaming and shouting on these children she started chasing these children she started murmuring something and grinning and uh, staring these children so the children got scared they went back home they told everything to their parents and the parents told them that do not play in front of that apartment if you want to play go downstairs but do not play on the 15th floor where she is living and do not play especially do not go near her apartment one time there was this girl she was uh, a small girl and she was roaming around on the same floor 15th floor and suddenly she went near miss wu's apartment and she knocked at the door when miss wu opened the uh, door she saw this girl and she chased this girl to the lift and she was screaming and murmuring something her body language has changed and she was trying to catch hold of this girl and this girl got so scared that she ran to her parents she locked she knocked the door and once the parents opened the door she locked it so from that day onwards people were scared that she is not mentally okay so she can harm people she is dangerous so nobody used to go interact with her now the second thing is miss wu preferred isolation so even if the grocery or something is kept on her door she used to make sure that nobody is there on the floor there's no one standing then slowly she used to come out take the grocery and take it inside nobody ever went inside the apartment so nobody knew the condition of her apartment but people knew that miss wu is staying on the 15th floor and nobody dared to go near her apartment now there was no interaction at all between people and miss wu therefore nobody knew her initial name but everybody knew that this lady is staying in this apartment for many years and she does not have any relatives or friends because nobody used to come and visit her now let's talk about this building this is a old building and uh, Uh, being an old building it had many problems sometimes pipe used to burst sometimes the lift is not working sometimes there is some sort of leakage so people used to complain to the building owner and the maintenance team out there was very slow they used to take their own sweet time 2 weeks 3 weeks to resolve the issue to resolve the problem so everybody knew that in case a complaint is made it will take another 2 3 weeks to resolve it now one day what happened this building had two lift now one of the lift broke down so people complained and this happened in 2016 near 25th january 2016 the lift broke down but since the building was having two lift so people starting has started using another lift and meanwhile they complained so the maintenance guys they came the maintenance team came on 
थर्टी फर्स्ट सॉरी थर्टी एथ जनवरी नाउ दे केम ऑन थर्टी एथ जनवरी एंड दे फाउंड आउट दैट देर इज सम इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉब्लम सो दे वर नॉट हैविंग प्रॉपर टूल्स और प्रॉपर इक्विपमेंट टू रिजॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द सेम टाइम वेन इन चाइना देर इज अ चाइनीज न्यू ईयर चाइनीज न्यू ईयर न्यू ईयर इज सेलिब्रेटेड लाइक अ फेस्टिवल इन चाइना सिमिलर टू वॉट वी सेलिब्रेट क्रिसमस दिवाली ईद सो सिमिलरली इट्स अ बिग थिंग इन चाइना सो एवरीबडी वॉज इन अ हॉलीडे मूड एवरीबडी वॉज हैविंग गेस्ट फैमिली मेम्बर्स सो एवरीबडी वॉज बिजी सेलिब्रेटिंग चाइनीज न्यू ईयर so these maintenance team they said that you know right now they are not having proper tools proper equipments so after chinese new year after the celebration they will come back and resolve this problem and they will do the required maintenance of the lift so for the time being one of the mem- team member he ch- uh, he shouted to check if there is somebody in the lift there was no noise so he knew that there is no one in the lift so he put a sticker that this lift is under the maintenance and the maintenance team left now after the chinese new year after one month on 1st march this happened the they shut down the lift on 30th january between 10th and 11th floor now they came back to resolve the issue to fix the electrical problem of the lift on 1st march so for one month they were busy with the chinese new year now after one month they came back with the tools and equipment and they started doing the maintenance work they started fixing the problem as soon as they fixed the problem of the lift they opened the lift and when they opened the lift they were shocked they were completely shocked they what they saw because of that their eyes popped out the pe- uh, people who were there in the corridor they were equally shocked because inside the lift there was the dead body of miss wu now dead body uh, was there and there were f- bloody finger marks all around the lift as if she tried very hard to open the lift but was not able to open the lift now after looking at this the body was sent for post mortem and the doctors confirmed that uh, miss wu died because of dehydration there was no food there was no water and she was trapped in the lift for one whole month in the same lift she was trapped for one whole month because of which she died because of the dehydration she died people were very angry with the maintenance team and uh, uh, they asked them that why they did not check inside the lift why didn't they open the lift and check whether somebody is there or not but the maintenance team the guy who shouted uh if there is someone or not he said that when he shouted if there is someone or not there was no uh, uh, noise from inside nobody asked for help so he thought there is no one inside the lift but this was no explanation on his behalf the procedure was that he should have opened the lift and check whether somebody is inside the lift or not after this miss wu's body was buried because she was not having any relatives or friends so her body was buried but after that there was a big protest in china against this the reason for protest was one more that before this incident 6 months before this incident there was another incident where one of the lady got trapped on an ex- escalator and uh, she died then and there on the spot so after that uh, this incident happened it made headlines in the newspaper people protested in china and it was a big news you can read about it on internet and this was the entire story it was horrific when i read the story i was shocked i couldn't make out why this happened how come such thing can happen that somebody was trapped in the lift and maintenance guys they didn't even took this much responsibility to open and check if there is somebody inside the lift from this i also want to request people who are having small children that when the children are playing or they are using the lift please be with them such incidents can happen and have happened 
So this is the entire story. Next week I will come up with another story. Till then, bye.